This video will cover questions regarding the topic of related rates, the plane. This is question 1. An airplane flying horizontally at an altitude of 5 miles. This is the radar station. 5 miles. The plane. The plane passes directly over the radar station at an altitude of 5 miles. An altitude is a fixed length, it's not a variable. Then we can make a right angled triangle, let's say x and z. The speed of the plane is 300 miles per hour. That means dx dt equals 300 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between the plane and the radar station changing? That means we are looking for dz, dt. When the plane is 13 miles away from the station, that means z equals 13 miles. Using the Pythagorean theorem, z squared equals 5 squared plus x squared. When z equals 13, then 13 squared equals 5 squared plus x squared. Then 169 equals 25 plus x squared. Then x squared equals 144. That means x equals 12. When z equals 13 miles, that means x equals 12 miles. So now plane is here. 30 miles away from the radar station. Set up the equation z squared equals 5 squared plus x squared. Differentiate implicitly with respect to t. d dt of z squared equals d dt of 25 plus d dt of x squared. Using the chain rule, 2z times dz dt equals 0 plus 2x times dx dt. Then 2 is cancelled. Then z dz dt equals x times dx dt. Now plug in all the information. z is 13. Then dz dt equals x is 12 times dx dt is 300. Then finally, dz dt equals 3600 divided by 13 miles per hour. The distance between the plane and the radar station is increasing at a rate of 3600 divided by 13 miles per hour. Question 2. The radar station is here. The plane is flying 4 kilometers above the radar station, let's say x. This is the angle of elevation from the radar station. Do you remember if this is your eye level? And then this is the angle of elevation. This is the angle of depression. And then these two angles are the same because they are alternate interior angles. Some teachers may call them Z angles, like this. An airplane flies horizontally with a speed of 480 km per hour. That means dx dt equals 480 km per hour. Find the rate of change in the angle of elevation of the airplane from the radar station. That means we are looking for d theta dt. When the angle of elevation is pi over 6, that means theta equals pi over 6. Now we have the respect angle, adjacent side, and opposite side. So we can use the tangent ratio. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So Tangent theta equals 4 over x. 
then differentiate implicitly respect to t d dt of tangent theta equals d dt of 4 over x then secant squared theta times d theta dt equals 4 over x prime equals 4 times x to the power of minus 1 prime that means minus 4 x to the power of minus 2 then minus 4 over x squared then back to the original minus 4 over x squared times dx dt the ratio of the special triangle when theta is pi over 6 the ratio is 2 1 and square root of 3 then we have to make similar triangles pi over 6 and times 4 on each side like this now plug in all the information secant squared pi over 6 times d theta dt equals minus 4 over now x is 4 square root of 3 then squared times dx dt equals 480 when theta is pi over 6 think about this one then cosine pi over 6 equals square root of 3 over 2 that means secant pi over 6 is upside down 2 over square root of 3 then back to the original 2 over square root of 3 squared times d theta dt equals minus 4 over 16 times 3 times 480 then 4 over 3 times d theta dt equals minus 16 times 1 16 times 30 then 3 times 1 3 times 10 that means minus 40 then times 3 over 4 on each side d theta dt equals minus 4 times 1 4 times 10 30 that means minus 30 radian per hour or you can rewrite as minus 30 radian per hour times 1 hour is 60 minutes then cancelled 30 times 1 30 times 2 so we can rewrite as minus 1 over 2 radian per minute the angle of elevation of the airplane from the radar station is decreasing at a rate of 1 over 2 radians per minute. This is the last one. The ground radar is at an altitude of 3 km. And the plane ascends at the angle of 30 degrees. Make a triangle. Let's say x and y. An airplane flying with a speed of 420 km per hour. That means dx dt equals 420 km per hour. Find the rate of change in the distance from the radar station to the plane. That means we are looking for dy dt. After 2 minutes, that means t equals 2 minutes. This is 90 degree. Now think of it as this triangle 120, 3 kilometers, x and y. By the law of cosines, y squared equals x squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times x times 3 times cosine of 120 degrees. Then y squared equals x squared plus 9 minus 6x times this is 120 and then reference angle is 60 degrees the ratio is minus 1 square root of 3 
and 2. Then cosine 120 degrees means minus 1 over 2. Then y squared equals x squared plus 9. Make positive plus 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 3x. Then differentiate implicitly with respect to t. d dt of y squared equals d dt of x squared plus 9 plus 3x. Then using the trainer, 2y times dy dt equals 2x plus 0 plus 3 times dx dt. The speed of the airplane is dx dt is 420 kilometers per hour. That means 420 kilometers per one hour. Then times one hour over 60 minutes. Then cancelled. Then 6 times 1, 60 times 7. That means 7 kilometers per minute. We can rewrite as after 2 minutes. When t equals 2, x equals 2 times 7, which is 14 kilometers. So now x equals 14 kilometers. Then from here, y squared equals 14 squared plus 9 plus 3 times 14, which is 247. That means y equals square root of 247. Now plug in all the information. 2 times y is square root of 247 dy dt equals 2 times 14 plus 3, which is 31 times dx dt is 420. Then dy dt equals 2 times 1, 2 times 210. That means 6510 divided by square root of 247. Then this one is 414.221 something. Therefore dy dt equals 414 kilometers per hour. The distance from the radar station to the plane is increasing at a rate of 414 kilometers per hour. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.